Hello friends, we are learning CMT. We are registered ourselves to learn CMT. Why we are going towards learning CMT? CMT is a globally renowned professional te technical certification, which is pretty much you are aware of, needless to say. And CMT is a systematic, organized and organic way of learning technical analysis. Okay, this pretty much you are all aware of. But why am I creating this video? What is the objective? Here is four objective for creating this video. You are all putting all your efforts, hard work to learn CMT. So I'm planning to give you overview or quick revision of the chapter. That is objective number one. So when you go through this video, you can have an overview of the chapter. And if you completed reading this chapter, this chapter will give you quick revision of chapter. Number two, I'll give you the notes. I'll, I'll, uh, I created notes. I'll upload the load notes. You can see that right in the description section of this video. Number three, wherever there are concepts involved, wherever uh, there is theories involved, I'll try to approach it in a practical way. I'll present it in a practical way all the theories present in the chapter and I'll make sure the video is pretty short. And last but not uh, the least, the fifth objective, I didn't capture it here. I try to revise. These are valuable information. Right? We need to revisit every then and there. I plan to revisit these chapters then and there, but while revisiting, what is the value add I give? I can give for you individuals. So thinking that, thinking on top of my mind, I revise myself while revising. I'll give you, I'll prepare the notes. I'll keep these objectives intact and present it across to you. The basic principle of technical analysis, the trend, chapter one. This comes under, the, uh, comes under section one. They clearly mentioned, in simple terms, this one paragraph clearly explain about technical analysis. The art of technical analysis for it is an art is to identify trend changes at an early stage and to maintain an investment question until the weight of the evidence indicates that the trend has reversed. How simply nicely present. Technical analysis is based on one major assumption, freely traded market prices in general prevalent trends. Buy the security at the low price and sell at high price. I know it's easier said than done, but this is what they say. We, we technical analysts strive to identify the trend at the earlier phase, get into the trend and sell it at higher price. How does the trend and uh, technical analysts make money? Determine the beginning and the end of the trend is easier said than done. Identify the beginning and get hop in at the beginning and get out at the end. Play the trend. Control risk of capital loss and avoid ruin. Significant points. What is a trend? There is upward trend, downward trend, and sideways trend. In in couple of minutes, stick to the video. I practically uh, presented what is upward trend, how to identify upward, downward, and sideways trend. A trend is a directional movement of price that remains in effect long enough to be identified and still be profitable. How are trends identified? CMT material provides three options to identify trends. Option one, least square regression. Option two, moving average. Option three, draw lines between extreme points. Having said that, now we'll uh, shortly we'll go into Trading View. Trading View is the platform we all aware of, many of us aware of, or whatever the platform you use for uh, charting or uh, reading the technical analysis, you can use that. But right now I'm going to show you uh, how to use these options in trading view and identify the trend. On top of these three, there is another simple method. First, I'll explain that method. Then we'll go over these three options of identifying trends. Let me go to trading view. This is trading view. <clears throat> Here, let me take DXY, which is US dollar index. Let me explain the easier way of identifying trend. Right now I am in 
weekly time period. I'll select the trend line uh, option given in trading view. And then I'll draw, I'll draw trend lines. First from this low, let me draw from this. Always trend lines are drawn from week to week, right? Week, candle week, right? From this to this and from this here, from this in red to green, from this green to red, red, red to green, green to 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 red. First of all, let us draw this lines. So we identify what is what are the higher highs, higher lows, lower highs, and lower lows. If this is the low, this is the high, then this is the higher low, right? This is high, but lower than the uh, previous low. Right? And this is the higher high, higher than the previous high. Higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Now we have lower low, lower low below this higher low. So we have lower high, lower low again, lower high, lower low, and higher high, higher low. Now we identify that. Always upward trends are a group of higher highs and higher lows. So this is upward trend. A group of lower highs and lower lows are downward trend. And for example, let me say, let me take another picker. Here if you see, here you see uh, a range within which prices are moving. So this is called sideways. There is no higher highs and no higher lows. A series, the, it, two lines between which price travel, which is called sideways. Okay? So uh, this is the way we identify trends draw the line and identify the higher highs, higher lows, lower highs and lower lows, then identify the upward and downward trend. As per CMT, we have option one, least square regression. So I'll, I'll enable this. If we go to indicators and type least square regression, you'll get this option, LSR search. Right? So select that. And you can see the least square reg regression line is formed. Again, even in this least square regression, if you take this, all the green ones, the combination of higher highs and higher lows will form an upward trend. So here, all the green ones together uh, form upward trend. All the purple ones together form downward trend. Or another option provided in our material is <clears throat> moving average. Let me go to the indicators. Here I select moving average. I select simple moving average. So I mean, this moving average will tell us what is the trend is all about. Let me take SPY. Here you can see this downward slope is downward trend. This upward slope is upward trend. Moving average also helps us to identify the trend. The last option given in the uh, given in our material is draw lines between extreme points. So let us see an example in DXY. So here if you see the price is traveling in a range. So from this, if we draw lines between extreme uh, points, now price is traveling in a range within this channel. We call this as channel. Now here we can determine the trend is downward trend. Three option provided in CMT, option, easier option, a practical way of uh, drawing tra uh, trend lines, I, I explained you. So you can follow this practical options to draw trend lines and identify upward trend or downward trend. Trends develop from supply and demand. Supply and demand determine the trend. It's, it's useless to determine what is the cause for supply and demand. There will be a number of reasons for supply and demand. We are trading based on price, whatever the reason. Whatever the reason, the price tends to trend. If we are, if we master 
the trend analysis. If we are master to identify the trend, hop in at the beginning of the trend, get out at the end of the trend, we can make profits in technical analysis. What trends are the fractal nature? Right? Trends are fractal in nature, like in snowflakes. Like when you let me show you, if we see Tesla in the weekly chart or in the daily chart, you can see a triangle pattern formed. But similar pattern, if you go down in the his, in the uh, hourly chart, there is a smaller triangle formed within the the bigger triangle. So the meaning is that the group of triangle this creates a bigger triangle. Right, the fractal nature in the sense, if there is higher high and higher lows in the daily chart, weekly chart or monthly chart, you can see a group of higher higher highs and higher lows in the lower time frame creates the higher high, higher lows or upward trend in the monthly chart, the higher time frames, which is which with the which dimension is fractal in nature. The trend, the trends of the Next, longer and shorter period should also be analyzed. Primary trends can be identified in weekly and monthly charts. Short term trends can be identified in daily chart. Intraday ch trend can be identified in minutes or hourly chart. Who is the father of technical analysis? Charles H. Charles H. Dow. What other assumptions do technical an analysts make? Price is determined by the introduction of some supply and demand. What, what is that supply? Why is that supply? It's need needless to uh, it's useless to uh, deep dive in that. Price discounts everything because technical analysis analysis based on based on analysis analyze based on price. So price is the significant component for our analysis. Prices are non-random. History repeats. Technical analyst believes that history repeats, but it's controversial in nature. There are few more uh, theory which contradicts that uh, history repeats. Patterns are fractal in nature. Just now we saw the higher time span pattern are created by the patterns from the lower time span. Emotions are affected by earlier emotions through emotional feedback. If there is a positive response, positive response, it'll 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 cascade pos positive response. If there are negative response, it will cascade again negative response. Here ends the chapter number one. This notes is captured in the description section of this video. Kindly download and use it yourself. Thanks for the time. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.